Shine and rise, everyone. It is Roxy tuning in. Grand rising. How is everyone doing today? Happy solar eclipse to everyone. Allow yourself to just <clears throat> tune in and recognize the power of this energy, of this eclipse energy. As much as sometimes we don't enjoy it, it rocks the boat, it shakes things up, it is symbolic of closing of chapters, beginning of others. It's really, these eclipse energies are really meant to propel us and fast forward us on our track. So allow yourself to just tune in and feel everything that's coming up. And we're also going to use this, this energy to harness what we're calling in for the next six months. So um, I want to start by, oh, let's just start by clearing our field. So just rubbing your hands together, bringing in all that energy from your heart. And I want you to just sweep off your energetic field, sending it back into the earth, and just encompassing yourself in this globe of white light. And I want you to envision rose quartz around that, and envision that one more time wrapped in a smoky quartz. And envision that one more time wrapped in a black obsidian. And here we're just creating this energetic bubble. If you are doing the sound bath out of your house, out of your bedroom, wherever you are, I also just want you to take a moment to clear the energy of your space. I'm very big on this because during the sound baths, you are clearing a lot of energy, so you also want to release into a clear space. So you can simply do that by saying, um, clearing the energy of the space filling it with unconditional love, releasing any stagnation or any energy that is not of love and light. And why don't you just take a moment to draw hearts in the corner of your room. If you're a Reiki healer, you can go ahead and send symbols. If you channel light codes, please go ahead and do that. And here we just set that container for unconditional love. So if you want to take a moment now to tune into your heart space, and if you want to sit down for the sound bath, please do. If you would like to lay down, also please do. This is just a great morning way, a, a morning routine, a way to start your day in a powerful way with intention, with mantra. You know, as much as we think we have to do something for an hour, sometimes just setting your intention with a five, your morning with a five minute intention or a 20-minute sound bath is the perfect way to start your morning. So I just want you to close your eyes. Taking a deep inhale through your nose. Breathing into your heart. Filling your heart expand. As you open mouth, sigh out.
deep inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, sigh, letting it all go. Allowing yourself to tune in to the portal of your heart. Seeing what has shifted for you. As you take your right hand, and we're going to balance out our three brains, our head brain, our heart brain, and our gut brain. I want you to take your three fingers, tapping your forehead, repeating I am. Tapping your heart, repeating I am. And tapping your sacral chakra, where your gut is, saying I am. And continue on your own, repeating I am love, I am strength, I am wisdom, I am limitless, I am a cosmic expression of the divine, and I want you to continue for another minute bringing any I am statements into your, your head, your heart, and your gut. Here we're balancing out all three brains. Bringing balance to your cosmic body, your super mental body, your mental body, your emotional body, and your physical body. As I call in the recalibration of all of your energetic bodies back into oneness. And the message that came through from the Quan Yin Oracle deck is the princess of the autumn harvest. The princess of the autumn harvest brings gifts of bounty and blessings for efforts and actions of the past. It is a time when the fruit of labors is ripe for the picking. A beautiful blessing is on its way to you now. This may come in the form of a spiritual gift, an opportunity, a windfall of abundance, a significant relationship, or an important friendship, and more. With gratitude in your heart, you will recognize the blessing when it comes to you, and it will serve you perfectly. Be open to receive it, knowing it is justly deserved. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful message for everyone. So you can slowly start to wiggling your fingers and your hands, stretching your arms overhead. And I want to share this card too for everyone. What a beautiful, what a beautiful, beautiful way to, you know, bring in the, the solar eclipse, this new moon energy, and recognizing the blessing coming forth, if it has already come forth or will come forth. Um, yes, thank you, Parita. So lovely having you here. Um, so be gentle with yourself. I ask today that you play, be in nature, wear white. When we wear white, our aura magnifies. I'm always wearing white on the full moon and the new moon. It's just my thing. I sleep with white, I wear white. And um, if anyone is interested, I have retreats coming up in Mount Shasta and I have some training programs coming up and we're launching our Lightworker membership for those looking to have a routine. It truly is medicine when you create ritual and um, create a routine out of your daily practice and it's really for mental well-being. So thank you all so much. It was such a joy to start my morning like this, to have all of you on. It's the perfect way to start your day 
and please feel free to replay this follow our youtube channel for more meditation as well i have a special solar post solar eclipse connecting with your future self, collapsing all timelines, all the quantum magic that I love to share, that will be up on Friday. So follow our YouTube page. So many blessings. I love that I had you on here, Preeta, and I'm seeing so many familiar faces and names too, but thank you so much and so many blessings to all of you.